is Jess William. Just William is a short story collection by Richmond Crompton, illustrated by Thomas Henry and first published in 1922. Yes, 1922. That's a hundred years ago. This edition, with a front cover illustration by Chris Riddle, was published in 2015 by Macmillan Children's Books. The William stories are about 11-year-old William Brown, a schoolboy from England. He is a strong-minded, independent boy and the leader of the Outlaws, which is his gang of friends with Ginger, Henry and Douglas. In pretty much every story, William gets in trouble somehow, either through trying out a new idea misunderstanding something or someone, or just by being troublesome. In this collection, William pretends to be a criminal, tries to help his sister get a boyfriend, peels the paint off his bedroom door, causes problems with his brother's girlfriend, crashes a bike into a river, runs away from home, falls in love with his teacher, puts on a show and meets his dog Jumble. And that's not even all of the stories. I loved the Just William books when I was young. My mother read, I think, all of them to me as bedtime stories. Yeah, bedtime stories. I had a bedtime story all the way up into secondary school. It's always fun reading about a character who is naughty, and rebellious or independent, and William is definitely all of those things. And I love it when you uh, really like a character and you know that there are loads more books that you can read about them. You can stay with them and experience their adventures again and again and again. It's also great that pretty much all of the William books are actually short story collections. So you don't need to worry too much if you stop reading it for a while, if you don't remember what happened in the story before, it doesn't matter too much. All of them are stories that you can read individually. Each chapter is one story. I'll be honest and say that some of the language in the Just William books is quite old fashioned and therefore a little difficult to manage. But if you can manage that, if you can get past it, if you don't mind it too much, you'll find that the stories are really simple. I'm sure that it won't put you off, and I'm sure that you will love reading all 36 Just William books. Here's an extract. Chapter 1. William Goes to the Pictures It all began with William's aunt, who was in a good temper that morning and gave him a shilling for posting a letter for her and carrying her parcels from the grocer's. Buy some sweets or go to the pictures, she said carelessly as she gave it to him. William walked slowly down the road, gazing thoughtfully at the coin. After deep calculations based on the fact that a shilling is the equivalent of two sixpences, he came to the conclusion that both luxuries could be indulged in. In the matter of sweets, William frankly upheld the superiority of quantity over quality. Moreover, he knew every sweet shop within a two-mile radius of his home whose proprietor added an extra sweet after the scale had descended, and he patronised these shops exclusively. With solemn face and eager eye, he always watched the process of weighing and stingy shops were known and banned by him. He wandered now to his favourite confectioner and stood outside the window for five minutes, torn between the rival attractions of gooseberry eyes and marble balls. Both were sold at four ounces for tuppence. William never purchased more expensive luxuries, at last his frowning brow relaxed and he entered the shop. Six pennyworth of gooseberry eyes, he said, 
with a slightly self-conscious air. The extent of his purchases rarely exceeded a penny. Hello, said the shopkeeper in amused surprise. Got a bit of money this morning, explained William carelessly with the air of a Rothschild. He watched the weighing of the emerald green dainties with silent intensity, saw with satisfaction the extra one added after the scale had fallen, received the precious paper bag and, putting two sweets into his mouth, walked out of the shop. Sucking slowly, he walked down the road towards the picture palace. William was not in the habit of frequenting picture palaces. He had only been there once before in his life. It was a thrilling programme. First came the story of desperate crooks who, on coming out of any building, glanced cautiously up and down the street in huddled, crouching attitudes, then crept ostentatiously on their way in a manner guaranteed to attract attention and suspicion at any place and time. The plot was involved. They were pursued by police, they leapt onto a moving train and then, for no accountable reason, leapt from that onto a moving motor car and from that they plunged into a moving river. It was thrilling and William thrilled. Sitting quite motionless, he watched with wide, fascinated eyes, though his jaws never ceased their rotary movement and every now and then his hand would go mechanically to the paper bag on his knees and convey a gooseberry eye to his mouth. Just William is fairly easy to read. If you like naughty schoolboy characters or books in big long series, I recommend it to you. The language can be tough at times, but the stories are simple. Mr O approves of Just William. It's just William. <laughs>